What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the last Photoshop tutorial today. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make an awesome Black Ops 3 thumbnail. So let's say you want to upload a new episode of, of like an entire series. I'm going to show you guys how to make an awesome Black Ops 3 thumbnail. You know, Call of, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So in Photoshop of course. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now in this video. So make sure to smash the like button down below already. And I would say, uh, let's get started. Alright guys, so we're for, for the last time today, we are on we are on Photoshop. And firstly, guys, I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go over to File. Click on New. We're going to make a new project with the resolution and the size of the thumbnail. Which is going to be pixels. And we're going to fill in 920 by 1080. And boom, right here we have our thumbnail template. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in my, my Black Ops 3. Um, pictures that I downloaded. So I download, as you can see right now, a background, a character, and the logo without a background PNG. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and drag in this Black Ops 3 thumbnail. I mean, like the like the screenshot of a match. Just hold Shift and drag it until it fits on the screen. I would say like that. That looks awesome. Boom. That looks pretty. That, that, look, that looks amazing. But as you guys can see right now, if you're going to put everything on top of it, it's going to be, it's going to look really sloppy and unclear. So you click on filter, click on uh, blur, Gaussian blur, boom, and then it makes, it, you know, it's kind of, it's going to make, it's going to make the characters look loose from the background. So as you guys can see, you can also choose like the, like the amount of blur you want, I would say. This looks awesome, click on OK, so boom, this is the first layer, this is the base of our thumbnail. Then I'm just going to go ahead and drag in a picture of myself, actually. So let me drag in myself real quick, so that I'm going to put on the left of this of the thumbnail so people can expect who they're going to like uh, like listen to or look at in the video so let me drag in a picture of myself real quick 12 seconds later so there's me but as you can see right now is I'm a little bit too small so I'm going to hold shift and drag it up and as you guys as, as you guys can see if I put myself right there boom that looks freaking amazing so this is the first thing that we have already this is myself and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a picture of a um, of a CS or, 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 I mean of the of a Black Ops 3 um, character. So let me drag in now on real quick. So this is going to be the character. Boom. And to also to make it bigger, just hold shift and drag it up. And I would say if I put this guy underneath myself, let's see where could I put this guy. Let's let you drag this layer under, under myself. Um, I would say this that looks really awesome like this guys so that's basically what we're going to do then the next thing I'm going to drag in is this is a Call of Duty logo uh, the Black Ops you know the Black Ops 3 logo and as you guys can see right now um, this logo is a little bit too small it's just like it works the same hold shift and drag it up but as you guys can see it's going to cross the sky head so I'm just guys head. so I'm going to uh, resize to get like this character real quick uh, like make it a little bit bigger I would say like this that looks freaking amazing okay guys so now that we have our character there and we have the logo let's add in a title for this uh, episode so let's say we're going to type in let's say why did you do that so why did you so let's type in that let's you know change the size a little bit so I'm going to let's start off with 200 I think that's a little bit too small. Or no, no, that's per that's not, that looks perfect. So and as you guys can see right now, it is black. So I'm going to customize that. So right click on your text layer options at the top. We're going to add in a stroke. We're going to add in a uh, gradient, a glow, and a shadow. Why did you do? Why did you? And then we're going to just put underneath it. Do that in re like really big. So I'm going to duplicate this one. So I do not have to apply all the effects again. So why, as you guys can see right now, it, hit, it says why did you? Why did you? So we're going to change this from why did you. Why did you do that? Question mark exclamation. And as you guys can right now, or you can keep it like this and put it like in the middle, or you can make it as big as why do you. So let's start off with making this bigger. Let's say 250. I think that's a little bit too small, 260. And uh, let's see if we're going to put it like this. I think that's a little bit too big actually. So let's, let's going to start off with 255 on the check mark let's see if it works and i think that looks pretty legit guys that looks pretty cool so what we're going to do now is we're going to you know, be sure that it fits of course and then what we're going to do is just gonna uh, let's let's say i'm going to I'm, I'm gonna make do that like stand out um so i'm just going to right click options go to the gradient option and uh, not the color one the gradient one click on this little bar and pick the orange one or you can pick like a like a like a rainbow one uh, let's i'm going to pick orange yellow orange boom like that click on okay and now you can just go ahead and select those two and replace it. And I would say, why did you do that? This looks an this looks like an awesome thumbnail. So I'm just going to click on save, and I'm going to save this as JPEG, and I'm going to call this the thumbnail in the Black Ops folder right here. Save. 
maximum okay and boom guys there we have our thumbnail for black ops 3 it is that simple it's i know that's so simple you just, you just drag those images in and i would say that's how you make an awesome csgo i mean csgo i'll make a black ops 3 thumbnail um so thanks again for watching hope you guys enjoyed this little small video about how to make a thumbnail for black ops 3 and that's it for this video <laughs> that's the simple this guys that's how you make an awesome black ops 3 thumbnail so i'm um, thank you guys for watching thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video and thank you guys for over 31,000 subscribers it's freaking amazing guys i cannot thank you guys i cannot you know imagine a better audience than you guys so thanks again for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will i will see you guys tomorrow for two videos of you know evolving into a better youtuber as always on saturday so i will see you guys tomorrow just alex halford Thank you.